Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see one more concept in uh, generative AI that is the first type of Gen AI, generative adversarial networks. So in our previous session, we have seen the complete introduction about the Gen AI, how it works and differences over traditional AI and Gen AI. And also we have seen the different types of Gen AIs. Okay. So in today's session, we'll let us explore each type of Gen AI. The first type of Gen AI is generative adversarial networks. So let us start the session. So, generative adversarial networks, which we will call it as a GANs. Okay. So, there are a lot of uh, GANs. The main aim of this one is it will generate it will generate images, the realistic images as well as audio. So, mainly it will generate the images in a realistic way <coughs> in this session we will see how this GAN works right so in order to generate these images mainly it will be following the two models okay so two models compete each other to generate images so what are those two models? The first one is generator, generator model and the second one is discriminator, discriminator. So these are the two models which compete each other in order to generate a new images. So what exactly this generator will do? So this generator will be generating fake images so as we are saying that it will be generating the content so that will be the fake image okay and the main goal of generator is goal the main goal of generator is to fool the discriminator Okay, so the main goal of this generator is to fool the discriminator. So why we are saying to fool? Because what discriminator will be doing? See, what this discriminator will be doing means, so it will check the images which are being generated by this generator model, whether they are real or fake. So it evaluates images generated from generator from generator evaluates images generated from generator whether they are real or fake so if they are fake automatically the feedback will be given to the generator so feedback will be given to generator so what happens so first first the fake messages or I mean fake images will be generated by the generator and this particular discriminator evaluates the images which are generated by the uh, generator whether they are real or fake and if they are fake okay if they are fake then the feedback will be given to the generator it will give the complete report so where it have to be improvised and again it the, this generator will take this feedback as an input and it will be improving the quality of the image 
okay it will analyze and it will improve the quality of image and it will generate another image and that another image will also be evaluated by the discriminator whether it is real or fake if still it is a uh, fake automatically again one more feedback will be given to the generator so from that uh, feedback again the generator will be improvising the image quality so this process will be repeated until this discriminator uh, this this discriminator finds that image is similar to the real image so that means it is not a real image but it looks like a realistic image so this generator fools the discriminator by creating the fake image which becomes as a real which is which looks like a real realistic image okay so initial image what about the i mean uh, this generator will be generating the initial image with a random noise the complete noise okay automatically we can see and we can tell that image is a fake image so from that image the feedback will be given by the discriminator okay see and see this generator is completely the training okay so training will be done on the data set so for the generator this generator model the training will be of unsupervised training unsupervised learning and coming to the discriminator it is a supervised learning supervised learning okay so first what happens it will take a random input it will take a random input from the data set and it will create an image okay it's a fake image so uh, it will take some noise okay it will noise which is a fake image it is a fake image so this will be evaluated by the discriminator this will be evaluated by the discriminator okay true and false that means if it is true true means it is real false means it is fake so if it is false then again this will be given to the this is a generator okay so this will be given to this generator okay so this fake image is nothing but a noise initial initially it is a noise completely noise so the feedback will be given to the i mean the, that will be taken as an input to the discriminator and it will release either re false or true if it is false then it will be done so this is called as a back propagation back propagation back propagation so whatever the feedback given by the discriminator that will be the input for generator so the, like this the images will be improvised the quality will be improvised so final output of, from this particular gan is the images which are looking like a realistic images hope you understood okay so this is how the working of gan will be done generative adversarial networks so there are different types of gans available so i list out uh, different types of uh, gans to generate the image types of generate to adversarial networks so the first category of network is the basic fundamental gan fundamental or the first gan it's a first gan right which is called as vanilla gan as well as dc gan so these two models are the initial models 
initial okay fundamental or first gans so all will generate the images all will generate the images this is the fundamental and the second category the second category of gan is a controlled or translational gans controlled or translational gans so here the name itself indicates right so these are the different uh, categories now one is a c gan picks two picks picks two picks and cycle gan so these three models are used for controlled and translation uh, generate to adversarial networks so that means the translation from one image to in one in another image so translation of one image to another okay this will be done in these type of uh, gans okay example if you are giving some uh, image a dog image and if you want to convert the dog into a cat so one image will be converted to another image so such type of translations will be done by using these particular networks and the next one smoother and stable training so for smoother image in order to make the image smoother then these type of gans will be used w gan ls gan pg gan so these images i mean these uh, adversarial networks will be used for smoothing the quality so it will also change the quality okay so it will smooth the pixels right so these are the different types of gans a fundamental first control translation and uh, smoother and uh, stable to train okay stable to train and the next one is a high quality high quality so the name itself indicates it will convert the low resolution gans to high resolution sorry low resolution images to high resolution images so that is sr gan similarly style gan so which we have seen and as an example in our previous session like a big gan so all these things will be improving the quality of images that means it will take some low resolution images and it will be converted to high resolution images so low resolution to high resolution low resolution to high resolution okay and also there is a one more uh, type of uh, gan which is a info gan so the name itself indicates it makes the output more understandable okay so a uh, one more thing is a info gan i'll erase this one info gan which makes output more understandable more understandable so this kind of things are called as a different types of gans okay so fundamental or first gan control translation so in order to make this uh, translation from one image to another image and smoother so best example blur images blur images to good one okay so blur images will be converted to good one good images so that will also be done by using this smoother and stable to train so majorly smoother smoother quality so it will improve the quality similarly high quality so low resolution images will be converted to high resolution images so all these are the different types of gans now what is the disadvantage of these using these gans so the main disadvantage of using this gan is it requires 
more power. Requires more power. Okay, that's the main disadvantage. And automatically advantage is the images will be looking like an a realistic way images are realistic so we will we'll also write the advantage images are realistic images are realistic so that realistic will come with a multiple feedbacks and multiple iterations okay the co the combination of two models that is a generator and descriptor and what are the applications where we can use these uh, uh, GANs, right? So one is the same thing, converting the low resolution images to high resolution images. So conversion of low resolution to high resolution images. And another one, it will be mainly used for generating 3D models, 3D models. Similarly, it will also use it for generating, okay, characters. So, which we are, uh, so which we are, uh, using them in our cartoons okay different characters will be seeing in the cartoons so generating those kind of characters can also be done by using these cans okay so hope you understood the today's session so this is completely about how this uh, gan works mainly gan works with the two models generator and descriptor so by iterate to iteration okay of giving a feedback and taking the feedback of a discriminator as an input to the generator, it will be improvising the quality of image. So these are the different types of GANs we have seen, the advantages, disadvantages and mainly the applications. So GAN by GAN, it generates the 3D models and the characters of cartoons and also interiors, etc, etc. And definitely the output of GAN will be looking like a realistic images. That is the main thing. Okay yes so let us stop here and uh, hope you enjoyed the session and if you re really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much